Hello everybody, and welcome back to our first season of the 2023-24 to 24 season. Um, in the last episode we got quite a bit done, we got rid of some dead weight, sold some players, made some big moves, um, called up some, uh, youth players, um, sold- or signed Peterson, who's been pretty good for us so far, we've- Done some good stuff, I've got to say. Uh, Katara is nearly at an 80 rated, which is insanity. Um, and yeah, everything's going pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm happy with how things are going. So, uh, we just signed up our Scout of Future star recently, named Wright. So I'm just gonna put him right into the starting, or into the substitution, like, bench thing. Uh, <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let me do that. Let's put in right real quick. I'm gonna put DeGroot on loan, I think. I think that's the move to make. And right, we're not gonna start quite yet, because Mihovic and Troster are way better overall at the moment, but uh, we'll still play them in some games. So uh, yeah, let's do that, shall we? And uh, otherwise, I think we should take a look at positions we kind of want to improve. So we've got the striker situation figured out. Honestly, I'd say we have our midfield figure out. Uh, maybe Crespo we might want to get rid of, but we'll see. Um, we could use a new left back. Goalkeeper, these, these guys are growing, to be fair. So, yeah. But Samarov, I think I'm gonna begin to start sometimes, maybe. You know, he's definitely a future of the club more than Tarovano is, and they're about the same overall. We have an okay transfer budget. Oh, be nice if I could spell. There we go. 36, he's getting there. He is retiring at the end of the season. Okay, Lionel Messi. Gotta keep our eye on him as well. So hopefully next season we can sign him up as well. Schupenhau. <laughs> <laughs> Noel Schopenhauer. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough scouting for the day. Let's move forward and see if we get- yeah, we got our transfer budget increase. And we also have an offer from Hamburg for Lev Samarov. And obviously, I'm not accepting that. We're keeping the man, he's probably gonna be our scouting keeper- or starting keeper for quite a while. I doubt he's ever leaving the club. Even if he doesn't start all the time, he'd probably end up being a backup keeper uh, near the end of this series. We'll have to see what happens though. Chicana has been sold and Cristea has been loaned out to Royal Antwerp. Uh, but yeah, Chicana is going to Chapecoense for about $630,000 and we can get 400000 of those dollars to work with. Okay, who was it? Three weeks. Yikes. Kind of we don't have any better right backs. Okay, we have sold on De Ariando. He's been here since day one. He's been one of our best players, 72 overall, but he just had to leave. So uh, the 30 year old defensive midfielder will be joining Utrecht for about $5.6 million. And hopefully we can use this money um, in a bit more of a, you know, to buy a much better player. So, uh, you know been nice having him around but you know he's getting to that kind of age and we needed the money and there we go Busko Atunic has joined the club from PSG for about 3.6 million dollars and the 70 uh, rated left back will be uh, hopefully absolutely changing the club it is rated as an exciting prospect and uh, I think, I think that's money well spent to replace De Ariando in the left back position. Wow, okay. Well, now, what we need, like I said, is a new CDM, probably. Sell on some of this dead weight, like Radenaru, Pilai, and longer we might keep. Maybe even Radenaru, just for the squad depth. Ooh. On top of that, we could use a bit more squad depth. And, um, yeah, like I said, new CDM. And then I think we're good for the window. Even for the season, really, we'll have to see if I can get the CDM right now. But yeah, let's go searching. I am going to get 
a another scout of future star. So why not? What else are we gonna use these for? FIFA 20, we're gonna finish up this series, and then I'm probably gonna do a rebuild with another team, which will be unveiled soon. And it will just be a quick rebuild. It won't be like this, it won't be as personal. And then we'll probably, throughout the summer, do some Fortnite videos on YouTube and otherwise stream a lot of games like, you know, Witcher and GTA that have been played quite a bit, so I don't really think I need to make a videos on those. Um, and then it'll be like November, October. Well, September will come around. What? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, September will come first. And that's usually when FIFA 20 or FIFA comes out. So we'll get FIFA 21 then. Do a career mode. And then by the time Football Manager 2021 comes out, or 21 comes out, then maybe we'll do a career mode there. That'll go on for a long time. Onea. Okay. Raz Van Onea has been loaned out, actually, in the final seconds of deadline day. Be happy. Okay, here is our Scout of Future Star, and it is another midfielder. Which, honestly, I'm not too mad about, because usually it's wingers, but oh well. Um... But honestly, we do need another midfielder, so let's think here. Valerio Ricci, he's a cam, it says. Um, he could fit into this squad. Katara is a cam. Aguirre, we can move him down to CDM. Right. And then Silvera and the Italian guy can be there and place Crespo. Try to sell him on. Okay, okay. I like that idea. I like that idea. Valerio Ricci is definitely gonna do well for us, I think. 55 overall rating at the moment, 83 to 94 potential. And again, bear in mind that, you know, he just joined. Hopefully that'll differ a bit, maybe narrow down to be like maybe 93 to 94. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, 15 years of age, can't be called up yet. Five foot nine, right footed. Um, yeah. Value currently, excuse me, two hundred twenty thousand dollars on a wage of five sixty-five, and uh, yeah, very happy about that. Okay, that's gonna be our best team. Awesome, first international game. I'm excited. Let's do it. First is September twenty twenty-three. Many versus Portugal. Oh, it's gonna be a loss. It's against Portugal. Never mind. And money, I got injured, but we scored a goal. So you know. Oh well. Here is our group for the Europa League. We've got Benfica, Copenhagen, and PAOK uh, alongside us, obviously. And you know what? You know what? Benfica, I think, are definitely going to top the group. But we could possibly contend for second place, uh, which would be incredible. Let's see how our first game goes. Copenhagen. And it's a 1-1 draw. Okay expected to be honest samarov has been loaned out and nagarahan has been sold oh boy we have zero squad depth which is great oh david lucero wants out of the youth academy so let's see if we want to sign him up i i'd have to imagine we do if we've kept him in here for so long let's see lucero you are yeah yeah i definitely want him I would love to sign you up. You're quite low overall, but you've got decent potential, and I think you could be a great backup for now. <laughs> Ojeda probably isn't gonna make it. Uh, Cafferty probably isn't gonna make it. And Selmy probably isn't gonna make it. I doubt this Selmy is gonna make it either, but we'll keep him in there for a bit anyway. Dinawar has been sold, and Tarnuvanu has been sold. Okay. What, 20 million that we got? Yeah, like 20 million. Love to see how much. Inter shown in Florin and Don. Okay. Oh well. I don't really care. I'm not really planning on getting him to be honest. And that ends the transfer window. Okay. Move on. Look at this. Sassy. I doubt he's gonna make it. However, Richie and Bah. Oh, Bahari. Oh, you've fallen, my guy. Tell me, might beat you here. I mean, you're 66 overall. 
which is much more than 59. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's still great potential. And De Groot, I can see being the guy. You gotta understand, this isn't just about finding the best players. This is about just having fun. Like, look at this man's hairstyle. I mean, come on. Let's be real here. Okay. Bahari is gonna be our backup. And... Yeah, that's that. Also, uh, let's sign up Ricci. Okay, that's our team at the moment. Crespo obviously is higher overall than the Ricci, but you know, I feel like it would be better with Ricci in there. Um, and then otherwise, I don't know what else we can do. I don't know who you can really sell here. Um, some of this youth just isn't gonna cut it. The Haria, we don't need long term, but we we need more money. But we also need to think about squad depth because i know from experience that not having squad depth is honestly just so annoying like it's just really not fun to not have squad depth and there we are we are now in the championship round um and uh yeah looks like same familiar faces when is Dinamo Bucharest gonna make it up there as well? I don't understand how they. I mean, they've got a decent team. Gotta be, gotta be getting up there. Always top the relegation round, honestly. Poliash, we like to honor players who have devoted their careers for the club. We feel like the way you handled the last opportunity to play one last time in front of the fans is a stream of himself, the fans, and the rest of his club. We expect better management from. Well, excuse me, I didn't realize this, this was football manager, and it mattered if I. Gave him a good send off before he retired. Excuse me, Jesus. Selmi wants to join the senior team, and I'd be willing to allow him to do so. And then swiftly adding him to the loan list. So we can grow a bit more, and then we can sell him. That's the plan. Okay, well, it's been a very, very good season. Um. We're gonna be in the qualifiers for the Champions League, I believe that is. Or is it just Europa League again? I'm not sure. Either way, we still got European football, which, by the way, is great. Uh, we've won the league, which is incredible. Uh, oh, here. Is this the one that counts? I don't know. If this is the one that counts, then I'll be really annoyed because we just missed out and it would be second place tied on goal differential. Or tied on points by goal differential. FCSB beat our streak of winning the cup every year, uh, 2-1, made to the final though. Barcelona beat Lyon in the uh, UEFA Super Cup, 1-0. Uh, Champions League, ooh, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna be in El Clasico. Wow, okay. Chelsea and AC Milan will be playing in the final of the Europa League, and I wanna see how Arsenal did. Come on, tell me they did well. They, wow. What what's wrong with their team? As we saw, we came last place uh, in Group E, which is kind of sad. And yeah, oh here as well, we've got stuff. Okay, cool. I doubt we're in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are in these though, but we're probably gonna be knocked out soon. Looks like. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So okay, well, that's this season done. Let's end the season. I am very happy with that. Dear Shirban, we've come to the end of the season. Oh, excuse me. Come to the end of the season. The board cannot be happier with your performance so far. The players and staff clearly look up to you. You have done an excellent job aligning yourself with the club's vision, uh, both on and off the pitch. We would be delighted to have you stay at the club next season. Sincerely, the board of directors. Well, that's good to hear, isn't it? Very happy to hear that. And uh, yeah, I guess we move on to the next season follow uh gaming with mr duck is the twitch as you can see just drop a follow that would be greatly appreciated um and yeah you know we're gonna be streaming more often if you want to check out the youtube it's the same title except the underscores are just spaces it's gaming with mr duck but they're all spaces in between the words and uh yeah check out the videos and stuff and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one um yeah peace i guess yeah. <laughs> Bye.